pause, there you have it, a glimpse into the explosive world of white. I'm Space Logic, and today we're peeling back the curtain to reveal the team and real work being placed behind this original project. So let's get started. Let me take you back to the roots of white. What you're witnessing on screen today began as a shared passion, a creative spark between me and a colleague. Five years ago, we embarked on a journey, not just of storytelling, but of exploration. We poured our ideas, debates, and philosophies into a narrative, slowly crafting it in a book format. It was more than just writing, it was a dialogue, a constant exchange of thoughts and visions about the depth and complexity we aim to capture. Every chapter, every twist in the tale grew from our mutual dedication to this hobby that soon evolved into a profound quest for storytelling excellence. And now, here we are, bringing that vision to life on screen. And now, men dive into another sensational aspect of white, the music. I'm thrilled to introduce a phenomenal talent from the YouTube channel Tiki Teka, Dr. Otaku. This musical maestro has composed six original tracks, each one a masterpiece that elevates our series to new heights. We've been absolutely thrilled with the response to the launch of the first episode of White. And there's more to come, including more music from yours truly. As many of you know, we created an album for the White series, featuring all the original songs written for it. The response to this album has been incredibly heartwarming, and I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to all our fans especially our Brazilian audience. To them, I say, Muito obrigado pelo apoio incrível. Working on this project has been a remarkable journey. It's led me to meet many interesting people and artists, paths I never would have crossed otherwise. I am eternally grateful for these connections. One such person is Liz. We became acquainted through Neural Frames, and her band No Refills simply blew me away with their amazing songs. I'm excited to announce that Liz will be stepping in as the new star actress for Silva, and I couldn't be more excited to welcome her to the team. I've been utterly amazed at what Space Logic has achieved with Neural Frames. Pushing it into the realm of cinema-level storytelling is something that Nico, the founder of Neural Frames, never even dreamed of someone attempting. It's like watching a prophecy come true, seeing art and technology come together in such a harmonious way. Thank you all for following along with the cast and crew. Until next time, keep on keeping on. Hi everyone, my name is Liz. Uh, following the wonderful introduction by my friend Dr. Otaku, I do want to share a little bit more about my role within the project. Uh, so I've been given this wonderful opportunity to voice the lead character Silva. Uh, this came as a delightful surprise to me. Uh, when when Space Logic extended the invitation out to me, um, I was so excited about it. He's a wonderful member of the Neural Frames community, and also he's giving me the opportunity to try voice acting, uh, which is something that I've always been curious about. Uh, and with a project like this, it's way too enticing to pass up. Uh, so I really am uh, truly humbled to be a part of this creative endeavor, and I uh, really look forward to contributing to Silva's story. Hey everyone, I am Red Wolf Wood. I play Silva's cousin Jericho, the lead male protagonist role. I have known Space Logic for a while now. We share mutual interests, one being Star Citizen, but also we both are from Florida. I have been with this project from the start, voicing Jericho in episode one, um, and Eerie Pop voicing Silva. She did a great job for the first episode. And we all wish her well wherever her passions have taken her. Um, Liz will be joining us on this project and keep the momentum going. I do voice acting as a hobby. I am excited about episode two. Let's get this ball rolling. Yo guys, what up? It's Hilda. White 2 is in the works and it's going to be freaking sick. First one did blow me away. Songs I didn't even see coming. And then the freaking dope CGI. 
Sane already has 10,000 followers on his channel, which is freaking cool. Looking forward to see how this next one comes out. I have known Saint, I mean Space Logic, for over a year. He is the only guy who rescued me on a desert moon in Star Citizen. Because some pirate stole my ship while I was inside the caves. And then he let me join his org. And I also live in Alaska. I forgot to mention, I play the role of Davin Star, who was adopted as an orphan by Silva's dad, Kale. And he raised him like a brother. So technically, I am Silva's uncle. A very young one, technically. This is how I sound when I am in character. Technically. It would just be like her, you know? To disappear, then turn up. The minute we get rid of it, I wonder. Could it be a test? As in, she's testing us? Not to get rid of it? Here's the plan. We hide it. Don't ever talk about it. We don't ever acknowledge it. We'll just bury it or something. Hey people. I am Ivan. I was promised some lines in episode one. And that was a complete lie. But this time, I only came back because I read the script and I did see my dialogue, which was something I should have done before. Anyways, I will be voicing the robot Vespera, a Tin Man, gone supernova epic. Saint, I mean space logic, I have known him from our mutual interest in Star Citizen, and I am from Portland, Oregon. Well, as you can see, the cast is set, and I guess they sound pretty excited about their roles. This project, to be honest, would not be possible without the help and enthusiasm of this great group. I am humbled that they indulged into my vision and gave their time and effort to this project. Let me share something special about Silva's mom, Seca. She wasn't just any woman, she was part of an extraordinary race of humans from a distant planet. Uh, her world faced a, a terrible fate when Abula Rur and his uh, Nihilius Dominion absorbed its living essence. Seca, along with thousands of others, narrowly escaped in shuttles seeking refuge across the stars. Their journey led them to Earth, a beacon of hope in their time of despair. Now imagine this, high above the moon, aboard a space station, was Silva's dad, an astronaut with a heart as vast as the universe. He wasn't expecting to find love in the cosmos, but fate had other plans. The moment he made first contact with the refugee shuttles, his life changed forever. Among the survivors was Seca, a woman with a mind as curious and passionate about the sciences and exploration as his. The moment he made first contact with the refugee shuttles, his life changed forever. Among the survivors was Seca, a woman with a mind as curious and passionate about the sciences and exploration as his. Well, folks, I think I will wrap it up here. All the visuals displayed in this documentary were test renders, and not from the episode. These are just to give you an idea of what you can expect. And if you have not seen episode one yet, I will share the link in description of this video. Check it out. Episode 2 is in its final editing and will be ready for release for the weekend. Thank you for watching.